Hello, I'm Don Dawson. Today we're going to talk about... Whoa! Hey, Bernie, I thought I told you to tape that power cable down. Are you all right, Don? Yeah, 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 um, I'm okay. You can just pick it up where you left off. Okay. Today, we're going to talk about avoiding slips, trips, and falls. Well, that was a little embarrassing, but the fact is that these types of embarrassing situations can be more serious than people think. According to OSHA, slips, trips, and falls constitute the majority of general industry accidents, and falls result in 15% of all accidental deaths, second only to motor vehicle fatalities. It's important to realize that it doesn't take falling from a high place to injure you. Simply slipping on a wet floor or tripping over a small object can result in a fall that lands you in the hospital with a broken bone, strained back, or concussion. To avoid these types of accidents, you need to understand how your body maintains its balance as your center of gravity changes. Center of gravity is defined as the point at which the entire weight of an object can be balanced. Imagine that you are standing straight up. Now draw a triangle with your feet forming the two points at the base and the third point of the triangle at your lower back. This upper point is roughly where your center of gravity is. These three points constantly change position as you move. If the upper point extends out past the lower points, you will lose your balance, and unless you regain it, you will fall. <laughs> 